felt when I heard surgery went well, and uh, just give them some time and space today. But went well. Uh, everyone's optimistic, and you know, hopefully this will will help his quality of life and get him back on the ice here shortly. You know, the first two weeks I think is relatively low key. Uh, a lot of rest, walking. Uh, hopefully, uh, I believe at the two-week mark he can progress to biking and, and go from there. And somewhere around six weeks, hopefully he can he can be skating and, and progress to play from there. So. You know, we're saying an eight to ten week time frame, but uh, every situation is different. So probably as we get into it, we'll be able to reevaluate and give you a better time frame. And statistically, the doctors say he'll be fine. He'll come back and play. And you never know. Um, you know, there's no guarantees, but you know, there's several other players in the NHL that have had the surgery and play, and lots of people in life that have had the surgery, and uh, many of my friends. My wife's had it, and uh, everyone's been able to get back to get back to normal. So. Um, again, there's no guarantees, but you know, he, uh, you know, we're pretty confident that he'll be in a good place in a few weeks. You know, again, he consulted with uh, with our medical team, with Dr. Boyd and Dr. Mullaney, and, and with John Worley, and uh, spoke with John Rizzo's at the PA, and uh, spoke with his family, and he ended up speaking with a, with a few players that have that have gone through the process. So, I know for him, um, you know, last time we were able to avoid surgery, everything uh, resolved on its own. Um, Resolved perfectly. He came back healthy. Obviously, didn't hasn't had any incidents in 14 months. So, I think this time uh, the pain was acute and um, didn't have, maybe have the luxury of having a summer. So, at this point, uh, I think it just made sense from a lot of different in a lot of different ways for him just to get this done now.